I talk a lot about different types of toxins here, so let's talk about kind of the initial response of the body when you happen to ingest a certain toxin. After you ingest kind of anything, be that toxin or not, it is absorbed into your blood. Now, there's this thing called the blood-brain barrier, which is basically a membrane surrounding your brain tissue and all of that that stops things from getting into your brain that you don't want into your brain, for example, toxins. The blood-brain barrier is pretty impermeable, which means very, very few things get past it, but there is kind of one specific section of the brain where it is quite a lot thinner and weaker on purpose. And that is this very small section here, right under the medulla, called the area postrema. And the blood-brain barrier around the area postrema is very thin and very permeable, and it allows different things to enter that specific area of the brain. And that area is what kind of differentiates toxins from normal okay things. If it senses a toxin, it will start this kind of chain reaction of physiological responses. Most of the time, the area posterima is just like, yeah, okay, whatever, it's fine, you can keep going, keep eating, keep drinking, and doing all of that, but if you are ingesting something that happens to be a toxin, then it kind of activates and is like, hey, hold the fuck up. Nope, this isn't good, we need to not be doing this right now. And so the very first response is it sends a signal to your brain that makes you stop eating or drinking whatever it is. You just like, hey, halt. And then comes the nausea. It will trigger a nausea response to make you feel ill. And then, most of the time after the nausea response is triggered, you will then go and throw up, which in many cases is a good thing. And since your ingested toxins are absorbed through your digestive system, by expelling it from said digestive system, it limits the amount of toxins that can actually be absorbed into your bloodstream and start to cause problems. Now, many times after this happens, there is a neuronal pathway made that links that specific taste of whatever you're eating, say for example, a poisonous berry and the feeling of feeling sick and puking, and so there's a link made, berry, sick, feel bad. So you then avoid that berry and things that taste like that berry, and then thus help avoid ingesting more toxins. Now, of course, in some cases, with things like alcohol, this is not necessarily the case. Because again, the area postrema is what is responsible for making you vomit when you've had too much to drink, but many times that does not stop people from consuming more alcohol. However, this is still a very important physiological reaction. By expelling the toxins that triggered the response, then it limits the damage that can be caused by said toxins and just helps protect your body overall.